Fast forward eight days and another incident with a Boeing aircraft occurred, this time in the Netherlands. As KLM Flight 1074 neared Amsterdam Schiphol Airport, the flight from Manchester seemed like just another routine landing. But as the runway came into view, the Boeing 737 suddenly roared back into the sky. It was a tense moment for the passengers. What could have gone wrong? The aircraft's flaps, essential for creating lift and reducing speed during landing, malfunctioned, forcing the pilots to abort the approach just 500 feet above the ground. The aircraft climbed back to 3,000 feet as the pilots worked to diagnose the issue. However, the increased drag from the improperly configured flaps caused fuel consumption to rise sharply. Within 20 minutes, the crew declared a fuel emergency, informing air traffic control that their remaining fuel would last only about 30 minutes. Declaring an emergency at this, uh, at this point. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Despite the stress of the situation, the pilots managed the emergency well. After extensive troubleshooting, the flaps began responding again, allowing the pilots to attempt another landing. Fire crews lined the runway as the aircraft approached runway 27. The plane touched down safely, and all 128 passengers disembarked without injury. The investigation revealed that the malfunction was caused by flap overspeed, where the flaps are extended beyond safe speed limits, and wind shear during the aborted landing. The minimal fuel reserve standard on short-haul flights further compounded the crisis, leaving little margin for error. Grounded for nine hours for inspection and repair, the aircraft returned to service later that day. While not necessarily the fault of Boeing, the incident highlights the ongoing challenges in aviation safety and reminds us of the complexity of air travel.